looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the upcoming week of Mutt content, guys. Now, we have a super exciting week of Mutt. Like I said, this is the culmination of the Mutt year, in essence, right? We got Team of the Year. We're going to be getting the Super Bowl promo. We're going to be getting some, you know, some LTDs this week. We're going to be getting a bunch of stuff. And, of course, more than likely, the NFL Honors Program. So, culmination, right? The Honor Awards, the regular season stuff. And then we'll probably get the Super Bowl. We'll know the Super Bowl MVP this upcoming this upcoming Sunday, right? Not tomorrow, but oh, the following Sunday, sorry. So, that's pretty much the culmination of the week, right? This Sunday or next Sunday will pretty much be the end of the Mutt year in terms of the season, right? Then after that, we get that post-game content, post-season content. A little bit different. Definitely end game stuff coming from there, but there will be some really good stuff coming up this week. Now, I do want to get into that, guys. But before we get into the video, as always, guys, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell. And like I said, guys, if you are supporters and you watch each and every video, one big thing that really helps is liking and commenting. So if you guys could do both so kindly, I'd greatly appreciate that. Go down below. Say what's up. Who's your Super Bowl favorite? Who do you think is winning the MVP? Who do you think is winning the Super Bowl in general? And then, of course, like the video, guys. I'd greatly appreciate that. So take a second to do that. And then let's head on over to the video, guys. So first things first, we already have the team of the year and the playoff stuff, right? So as far as the playoff promo goes, we have the conference. We have week one, week two, week three, right? So we had the wild card divisional conference now in the Super Bowl. So I think the playoff promo is done from there, right? Because now we might get like maybe one more LTD during the week or maybe one more Pro Bowl LTD. But that is it for that. Now, will we get more Pro Bowl content? I suspect we will because, again, they gave us pre-Pro Bowl content and we're actually getting a Pro Bowl, you know, Pro Bowl. The actual Pro Bowl is coming up uh, this week. So... There's a chance that maybe they do go ahead and give us actual Pro Bowl, like actual little mini promo with some more players. So expect maybe some of that. So the playoff bracket's probably done. This may actually get some more stuff. The Pro Bowl promo actually may get a little bit more stuff here, like actual players on the day, or maybe it's just some Pro Bowl LTDs. Maybe the Pro Bowl, and whoever wins MVP of the Pro Bowl, maybe they get something. But that'll be it for that. I'll go over that in just a second. But as far as it, what they could do, like I said, in years past, they've given us the Pro Bowl MVPs. They've given us, you know, maybe some players that played, some past year players, maybe a, a flashback Pro Bowl MVP, like a flashback Calvin, right? Some cool stuff could come out of this. Not entirely sure the route they will end up taking, but that could be fun. Now, moving on from that, guys, we still have the Super Bowl and some NFL Honor stuff to go over. So let's head on over to that stuff and go over that. But again, Team of the Year sets, that, that set bracket's done. The playoff set bracket's done. Pro Bowl showdown or whatever, maybe another Pro Bowl bracket could potentially come about. And then, of course, like I said, we have NFL Honors, which... Just some big players, some awards. We'll go over that, but let's head on over to the screenshots and show you guys some of that. So let's start with the NFL Honors. Now, the NFL Honors promo is pretty simplistic, right? Pretty much real-life awards get in-game cards. So we have the MVP. We have Man of the Year. We have Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, we have Fantasy Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year. Rookie, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Defensive Rookie of the Year, right? So last year, we had a total of seven total awards. So... This year locks, right? Who's going to win the MVP? It was Aaron Rodgers. They were talking Mahomes. Um, it, either one, it's going to be probably a quarterback more than likely. I don't know who else it could be. There was a few, you know, dark horses, some late candidates. But if it is Mahomes or Rodgers, again, going to be great quarterbacks. Now, the issue with Mahomes, if he does get that, is that he may end up being that guy that gets, you know, an MVP type card while also getting a Super Bowl MVP type card, right? So he might end up getting back to back 99s, which would suck. But. There's an MVP award. Then for man of the year, I don't, I, don't, I don't keep up with that voting, so I don't know who's winning it right now, but every you know, every team nominates one guy, and then from there they go, and whoever gets it gets it, right? So that will be a card. Not sure who it will be. That card's usually like a wild card. It could literally be anyone. Uh, offensive player of the year. Not sure who they can give that to, but again, we got Michael Thomas last year, and the cards are good, right? So MVP was a 98. I think MVP this year would be a 99 based on how overalls are going. Now, this Lamar Jackson was insane. All the throwing thresholds. Um, of course, he could, he could run super fast, you know, 96 speed power up and chemed up. And who have max like throwing the run stuff now? If it is a Mahomes guys, that card would be you know break the game. It would be exactly what we need in this game. A 99 overall card that could sling. So I'm probably get like a 90 speed as well. So that's pretty crazy. Um, and then of course like we guys like Christian McCaffrey who is actually too slow. And not... can you believe that? That last year the game the game was different last year. The game was super different in terms of ratings. Can you believe that we had a 93 overall card? A 93 speed. Our all fantasy player of the year running back at a 93 speed. Now, that actually was a little low at the time. We were more around 94, 95. But this year, if running back doesn't have at least 90 smite, 596 speed right now, and this isn't even NFL honors, like right now, it's considered it's considered too slow if it's below 95, 96. So that's that's pretty crazy to see that. Stephon Gilmore, 92 speed was pretty slow. 
Kyler Murray, who was the offensive rookie of the year now. For this year, probably maybe Herbert. Um, Herbert probably gets it. And then for defensive, I'm not entirely sure who the rookie defensive player is. But again, it's going to be cool. It's a cool promo. Cards had to be super expensive. Super expensive for a while. Now, again, this year, may, but that's usually because they're LTDs. But maybe this year they won't be too expensive. Things have been a lot cheaper this year uh, overall across the board. So maybe they won't be too out of reach for a lot of people. But this will be fun. It's going to be a fun, <clears throat> fun awards. Of course, if you, if you watch the actual awards ceremony, you'll more or less know the cards we're getting. They usually don't drop them all at once. They drop them in brackets. So they'll give us the Offensive Rookie of the Year first, or like the Man of the Year first. And it usually comes to the end, which is the MVP. And then for the year before, which is Madden 19, Darius Leonard won Defensive Rookie of the Year and First Team All Pro. So he was a pretty good card. 90 overall speed. But he was 98. Now this year, they were much higher overall. So we got Saquon Barkley 98. This was Saquon's rookie year. This was a super cool card. Saquon Barkley lived up to all the hype, leading all players in yards from scrimmage on route to Offensive Rookie of the Year. 95 speed on that Saquon. That was an insane card. Again, just some super cool work with Aaron Donald. Oh, this was a great year. Aaron Donald, Defensive Player of the Year, and Patrick Mahomes, MVP. So this was a fun year. We had Patrick Mahomes, Donald, and Barkley. Three meta cards. Andrew Luck was uh, Comeback Player of the Year after sitting out the 27, uh, 2017 season with a shoulder injury. And we got Chris Long as Man of the Year. Again, a wild card. It could literally be anyone. Not that he's not a good player. He's a great player. But you just never know. It could be a left. And again, back-to-back -back years ends. It could be one year. It could be Eli Manning. It could be um, a cornerback. It could be a punter. Like, you just never know where that could take you. So it's always been a wild card. I mean, at this point, if you've been watching or keeping up with it, you probably know who's the front runner for man of the year. But what I'm saying is if you don't follow that, it's just complete wild card. You have no idea. Regardless of if you watch football or not, you know, that's not, you know, it's not like stat, stat based. But a lot of fun stuff there. So that's going to be the NFL honor promo. They, there's usually not like specific packs. Like there will be packs and you try to pull them out of there. Maybe there's increased odd packs or some, something like that, but there's not gonna be anything specific. There may be some solos. I think it'd be cool if they did solos for a nat one, but I doubt they will. But it would be cool if they did it. Or just some way of getting packs to maybe get a chance of pulling them. Or packs that, you know, like when they did the limited time shoe, you just open the packs and it either comes out as like a coin quick sell or you get a put player. It'd be cool if they did a pack like that. That had, it was either coins or the player, but again, super rare, like less than 1%. I think that'd be cool. And you redeem it for whatever one you want. But moving on from that, of course, we saw the Super Bowl stuff as well, which is going to be coming first. Super Bowl stuff, guys, special stream tonight. Sunday night special stream. Make sure you're there at the 7:30 p.m. Eastern time, so you can go ahead and get a feel for kind of like, okay, so what are we dealing with? How is it going? And uh, no, no, the super promo is going to consist of. So make sure you are checking that out, of course, and seeing what's going to go on. But again, we're going to get it tonight. Um, the promo actually does come out tomorrow morning, so stay tuned for tomorrow morning for that. But as a whole, we're going to know what's going on tonight. So we're going to know if there's free players. We're going to know who the masters are. We're going to know what everything is. So make sure you're on top of that. In my opinion, guys, Super Bowl is going to be fun. Super Bowl promo is always fun. I hope they give us some. I hope they give us a banger running back. I'm tired of the bow. I'm tired of that being the top speed guy. Give us another 90 speed back that can have the speed and also play well. Because I think bow plays like crap. And that's just my opinion. Again, I, I don't play well with them. I don't play well with big bulky backs like that. I've always been better with uh, tiny, elusive, you know, like shifty backs. But although stats say he should be shifty, he doesn't feel it. But yeah, I don't know who they're going to give us. I know we have Keyshawn Johnson, not Keyshawn Johnson, uh, Keenan McCardle locked up ready. We have a few guys like that. We have Devonta Freeman, but those are the bad ones, right? There's going to be much better ones. I wonder what the master is going to be because McCardle may just be a hero in a master set that's 97. So I wonder who the master would be. Maybe it's a Steve Young. Maybe it's a Joe Montana. Maybe it's Joe Namath. You know, I, I did my prediction just this. If you guys didn't see that, go check that out. Yeah, it's going to be fun. There's going to be LTDs, plenty of good players. Um, last year, if you guys remember, we got the free Mel Renfro's. Because like well, he was an impact and people opened up like lots of coins for him, so they gave everyone like a free Mel Renfro, except for me because I didn't open a pack, so I didn't get the free Mel Renfro. That was very dumb. Or like I forget what it said, or the pack had like wording on it that said that guaranteed Mel Renfro or something like that. So like by law they had to now give everyone it. I don't remember uh, exactly how that went, but it was it was an interesting time. It really was. But um yeah, super cool stuff. And then we, of course we have we're gonna have the present ones, which I went over yesterday. Present Super Bowl players are gonna be awesome. We're gonna get. Maybe they may not give us some homes. Here's the issue, right? If they give us a Patrick Mahomes Super Bowl present player, we are screwed. Because here's the issue. If he gets a Super Bowl present player, let's just say they give us one, which I, they didn't do it last year. If he gets that, let's say they give us a 96 overall Patrick Mahomes or 97. Then he wins Super Bowl MVP. Now he has a 97, 99. Then he wins NFL MVP. He has another 98, 99. So now he has three cards that like the same overall. That pretty much just ruin it for everyone who pulled those cards. Um, it's just not good for anyone. So hopefully they don't give him a card here. Now, Tyreek Hill could get a card, but he also won Super Bowl MVP, but he won't win the NFL MVP, so there's more hope there. And then, of course, on the Buccaneers side, guys, a Tom Brady card won't be meta, so don't get too excited for that. Chris Godwin won't be. Mike Evans won't be. But there are defensive players. You can get some pretty good ones, such as, like, uh, 
Jam uh, Jamel Dean, Sean Murphy, Bunting, Carlton Davis, some super fast guys. Um, that rookie, uh, and mm, Antoine Winfield, I forget his name. Whatever, you guys know Winfield Jr. He's good. There's a few good guys on defense. Devin White, we can get a Super Bowl present. Devin White with like a 95, 96 speed. That would be crazy. I don't know if what route they're gonna end up taking there, but that would be fun. But yeah, guys, I pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up. Like I said, it helps a lot when you guys do like and comments. If you've been watching, let me know down below who do you think is win the Super Bowl, who's getting MVP, what card are you predicting for the Super Bowl promo. And that's about it. So smash the like button, subscribe if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve. Use code Poodle for an additional percentage off the checkout. I'm out. Peace.